All right, friends. So today we're going to learn about how to cover Rajasthan in 15 days. That includes how to book hotels, how to go for the transportation, and various trips, including sightseeing. Now these things help our customers quite hundreds of customers quite a bit, and we will go all those tips step by step. Uh, by the way, there's a, some bonus tips on shopping and clothing at the end, so don't forget to you know, watch the video till the end. And with, without wa any wasting any time, I'm Sanjay Priyar from Houston, Texas. Uh, I'm here with uh, Mr. Rohit, a seasoned travel agent, served thousands of customers, and then Mr. Anand Rai, who is a professor in Jia Bajaj. So without wasting time, Rohit, let's go ahead and tell us how to get to that in next 12 minutes. Yeah, hi Sanjay, hi Anand. I'm Rohit from India, uh, from Delhi. It's uh, basically the capital of India, and and here, yeah, of course, like the Rajasthan is definitely require the two weeks where you can one can visit the complete destination in a very relaxed manner, and one can touch not exactly the touch can visit the all the places. Now we'll begin starting like the Jaipur, which is the capital city of Rajasthan. We we'll start from the Jaipur. The two nights stay in Jaipur and from Jaipur we'll move to the Mandawa, which is one of the very artistic destinations known as the Open Art Gallery. From Mandawa we'll move to the Bikane. Bikane is again another uh, historical popular destination, which has got the popular, mainly popular for the Junagar Fort. Apart from that, we have the Rat Temple and uh, Camel Breeding Farm. And one can experience and it's a really nice to experience the Camel Breeding Farm there. From Bikane to Jasarpe, which has been like one of the very popular destinations among the tourists because of the desert. It's a beautiful desert and sand dunes there. And two nights in Jaipur will stay for the two uh, there. In two, out of two nights, one night is stay at the camp. That would be a wonderful experience. Stay in the camp and next night we'll stay one of the heritage hotel of the city. From Jaisalmer, we'll move to the Jodhpur for a night and one night is perfectly fine to visit the destiny uh, monuments and the places there. From Jodhpur, we are moving to the Devgarh uh, Palace. Basically, Devgarh is a small town. It's a kind of village. It has got the very nice uh, Devgarh Mahal, the palace hotel, and you'll have a stay in the same uh, palace. That would be a great experience. From Devgarh to move to the Kumbhalgarh. Kumbhalgarh is another princely state, uh, which is known for the Maharana Pratap Singh. And uh, one night stay at the Kumbhalgarh is fine. And from Kumbhalgarh, we'll move to the Udaipur. We'll stay for two nights. So the Udaipur is known as the city of uh, lakes. It has got the seven man-made artificial lakes, and which is the beauty of the city. From Udaipur, we'll move to the Kota. Kota is also known for, uh, for the step west mostly, and it also has got the forts and palaces. From Kota, we'll move to the Ranthambore. Ranthambore is based, um, famous for the wild, uh, it's a national park and no, uh, known for the tigers. From uh, Ranthambore, we'll move to Pushkar. Pushkar is uh, uh, very popular for the Brahma temple. And also another thing is the uh, Pushkar Fair, which takes place every year in the month of November. From Pushkar, we'll back, drive back to Jaipur. And that's how we can cover the entire Rajasthan in 15 days. It's a good time to travel uh, in the month of, uh, starting in the month of middle of September is a good time to start until the uh, middle of April is a very pleasant weather, so it is recommended to visit these places. May and June must avoid it to visit Jaipur, uh, Rajasthan. And uh, it is recommended to take a chauffeur driven transportation. It is must because you are traveling for the 15 days and uh, you must have a, dri a driver who is very experienced, who know the places, which are going to save your time as well as going to be cheap for you rather than choosing uh, those aggregator like the Uber and Ola. So chauffeur driven transportation is the must thing. And when you are in Rajasthan, it is very important. It's a great to experience the stair and heritage hotels. There's a plenty of heritage hotels, a very good quality. Those are the 100, 200, 250 years old uh, palaces, forts, and uh, havelis. So yes. as soon as you are there in Rajasthan, one can experience these uh, heritage hotels in Rajasthan. Now, moving from these heritage hotels, uh, now it's come to the, which is very important, like what exactly uh, the kind of food is uh, available. 
in fact like we provide a visit to the indian family if somebody is inter- interested can join any indian family to experience how they cook the food and even wow. they can uh, share the hand and share the kitchen as well and there the uh, things which is uh, some good cuisine is available in uh, rajasthan and the popular dishes is there is kheer sangri and uh, the saliti bati and churma is very popular there besan ki ki gatta is very popular and the dessert when you see the gave yeah. mouth watering this mouth watering watering. this looks looks yeah. great looks great yeah and yeah. yes yeah this i i got to know a lot about you know the importance of uh, tour guide in rajasthan so uh, what do you recommend uh, there yeah in fact like we are, when we move for the sight scene it is important to have a tour guide during the trip and there's a guides uh, like when you go you are going to get all kinds of guides available uh, whatever the language you speak is german is english french russian or any of the language you speak you are going to get a tour guide and the, you can have a local tour guide and you can have a accompanying tour guide which depend on the if you have a group so it's recommended to have a, a accompanying tour guide Right. and then move so to the uh, yeah go ahead yeah 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 now mo- moving to the places what we can as i mentioned like we can visit the forts and palaces now this is the jaipur we start from the jaipur city which is the hawa mahal what you see next we are going to visit amer fort uh, you can try your hand in painting uh, by yourself in mandawa and you will see the some beautiful uh, havelis available in mandawa very interesting very interesting so havelis are obviously great so uh, yeah these are yeah. all the havelis right mandava yeah the, the yeah these are the special artists they have done it and these are the natural color mostly the vegetable colors are used and of course it's a la- uh, long lasting right, right so we move further these are the havelis which is now converted into the hotel and you can experience your stay in these kind of havelis in mandava yeah ah this is a great fort yeah right yeah yeah it's a junagar fort and it's a junagar it's a interior junagar fort that's what the beacon is famous for now we we'll see the junagar fort from the outside as well it's a uh, it's a really uh, huge mm, yeah beautiful junagar fort it's right oh wow what is that yeah this this is the junagar fort now uh, from as we mo- uh, reach to the jaisalmer this is the camps basically where you can experience your stay it's got the uh, lots of culture activities the local uh, rajasthani da- folk dance uh, will be organized here during your stay and next we'll visit to the ja- ja- sand dunes of jaisalmer now from sand dunes we'll move to the city and we'll visit to the jaisalmer fort which is also known as a sonar fort and it is known because it looks a golden color and still the people live in this fort now we'll move to the patwoki haveli patwoki haveli is like most mostly the merchants who used to in this area they used to build uh, some very nice and good uh, carving uh, havelis for their living now from jaisalmer we are moving to the jodhpur jodhpur is one of the biggest city of rajasthan as mainly known for the umed bhavan palace umed bhavan palace is basically built by uh, the maharaj place among the t- uh, tourists and it's uh, is on the aravli hills now kumbalgarh will move to the udaipur and udaipur is is a, also known as the lake city it has got the seven lakes it's a basically the man made lakes uh, which is built for the purpose to uh, conserve the water and so that during the monsoon whatever the water uh, water comes they can utilize this water for the rest of the year and you can see this jag mandir it's a jag mandir uh, is uh, Uh, the place which uh, is used for the some events particularly for the wedding which is used nowadays look at the city palace which is on the bank of Re- Re- uh, lake pichola and uh, this is one of the heritage and one of the prominent hotel uh, lake uh, lake palace which is owned by the taj group of hotels oh. now these are things what uh, we have seen and if you look at like the activities this is the elephant ride which we can uh, this is a different kind of activities possible and the elephant ride we organize in jaipur uh, this is a pushkar we'll be visiting to the pushkar as well during the trip and uh, is a very popular for the pushkar fair and it's a basically uh, is they do the trading of the animals so mostly they sell uh, buying and purchasing for the camel 
and in fact look at this monkey temple which is in uh, jaipur and uh, even uh, one can play with the monkeys in jaipur that, that's a great experience and of course there will be the one experience guide available uh, to the, uh, perform this uh, the playing with the monkey and in ja uh, again like the camel ride as i mentioned on the jaisalmer we have the uh, different types of camel ride and one can go for the camel safari which goes for the 3 to 4 hours in a day is a boat ride which is takes place in udaipur in the lake pichola and we are visiting to uh, ranthambore in our itinerary and uh, here we can enjoy uh, the visit to uh, the national park and the most important uh, animal is the tiger and the leopard is available here this is some will will be doing some village tour as well and this is a pot making uh, the local people this is their livelihood and you can experience the visit to this spot making village and when you are in rajasthan this is a local folk dance uh, you can experience and while you are visiting to the many of the hotels is going you are going to see uh, these uh, folk dances in there now when you are uh, in rajasthan shopping is uh, very important like the those who are basically the ladies they love shopping and uh, the sarees and the lehenga chundri is very popular in rajasthan and uh, look at the bright color the vibrant color uh, is used uh, by the women as uh, the local women it's a regular attire for them uh, which is very lovely look uh, these are the handicrafts which is popular and you are going to get everywhere in rajasthan as a very colorful this is some more handicrafts is uh, basically uh, used the metal bronze silver and it's again mostly is popular in jodhpur so when you are in jodhpur you can do the shopping of these uh, handicrafts and this is the painting can anyone can guess where uh, this painting is from which city this is wait man uh, jodhpur jodhpur no it's a udaipur can udaipur. you see that the lake it's showing oh lake yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's a very popular like when the the city is so beautiful the many uh, the artists has come up mm. they started painting and it's basically called as a miniature painting and they make a very good painting and the paintings are very beautiful mm. now this is the some festival i was mentioning about the uh, pushkar festival and every artist they show the, their things by their own way look at this man it has got the long mustache can you imagine the kind of mustache he has <laughs> the great and uh, this is uh, the like oh, across oh, the wow. india it is famous for the holi festival and the uh, holi in rajasthan is very special because of the color and the during the month of march and on the full day of full moon uh, the holy festival is celebra uh, celebrated and it's a very uh, favorite uh, and very popular festival among the indians now right. that's all uh, so, on my presentation over here if right, you have any so question please this is great so this this all we can cover in 15 days and this uh, in sequence with what you have shown earlier such a great help to our uh, audience and uh, we'll just wrapping up this call um Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, bye. Okay. Bye. Thank Take you. care. Bye.